What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Happy Monday to you. I hope you have had a wonderful weekend. I think I've said that in three different episodes, or three different videos today. I hope you had an awesome weekend. But I did. I hope you had an awesome weekend. I did. I do. Hello. <laughs> Guess what? It's episode 14, baby. Episode 14. Guess what? And also today. Guess what's ready? Let's go over here. Boom! Everything that we had left is ready to go. We did fields 1, 3, 15, and 27. Today, we have fields 4, 32, 36, 28, and 25. What we're going to do today is corn harvest. We might be able to do a couple of extra things, but it's corn day, baby. Corn day! We're going to jump in this truck right out of here. You back out into the road. We got to get corn going. Look at the corn. Three fertilization states. She is going to be awesome. Oh, must have left, uh, left some doors open yesterday. Did not mean to do that. All right, park it up. Today, the new screens come in that I've ordered. So I'm very excited about that. So... All the videos that I make tomorrow are going to have the new screens. So exciting! Yeah! All right. Corn harvest. Do we have a tipper up here? Oh gosh, I hope we have a tipper up here. <laughs> um, yes, okay. Thank goodness we have a tipper up here. It's just right around the corner over here. Ooh, I was very worried for a second. Oh, man. <laughs> there it is. All right, cool. Corn header. I don't know when we were going to be able to use this guy. Let's get right up to it. Perfect. We are using a very large corn header. I think it's the, the biggest one that you can get in the game. Let's take a look here. We may have to fly through just to find it because there's a lot of stuff. Here, we oh, we didn't have to go far. The Capello Quasar HS-16 um, is a working width of 12 meters as opposed to our uh, Draper headers, which have working width of 13.7. So not far off. However, the fields that we are working are a little bit bigger. Um, now, we're going to be doing two different fields. So the first one that we do is going to be corn. I guess, obviously, huh? Uh, <laughs> the first field that we're going to do, we're going to be using it for corn um, because we got a bunch of pigs, little piggies. Um, the second field, that's going to be field number four. The second field, field number 32, it's going to be silage. 32, if you notice, is probably about half the size of field four. Maybe a little more, more than half, but it's pretty small. Um, also, I'll say during the winter, we're going to be chopping these trees down in the field and we're going to be plowing it out and we are going to have a full field, full squared off field because I am so tired of having to go around these darn, uh, they're in every other map or anyway, every other field. It is so annoying. Why am I jumping out? Okay. Um, do we go? Guess we're going. Okay. Hey, corn harvest, baby. Uh, one thing that I hope gets changed in FS19. Okay, you notice how the corn's got a little bit of green on top, but it's ready to harvest because the texture of the corn on this map is different than it is on some other maps. Cool. I get it. But you see, the corn itself that's coming through is that dark brown that you would get on the other maps. If we could get that changed, that would be cool. We're gonna get a lot of corn, oh my goodness. <clears throat> Look how much, we barely even gone anywhere. We already got 15%. Yo! Uh, quick shout out, I wanna give, uh, give a couple of my boys shout outs for the live stream yesterday. Had my boy uh, Jimmy Beck in there, my dude, love you brother. And I have my buddy Case in there. Uh, Case actually gave us some, some really good ideas about some future videos. Um, 
Again, I made a video a couple days ago that said, any ideas you got, drop them in the comments. Let me know, say, hey, I wanna see this. Yesterday during the live stream, Kay said, hey man, uh, you know, I wanna see some logging. And we got up, whatever we were doing, I think we were doing a corn harvest, I think, on Oakfield. We got up, we plopped down some log stuff, we sold a couple logs, uh, we cut some logs. I got, I got to use this little trailer tipper thingy with the logs and it was awful. <laughs> it was hilarious. Um, but you know, it's what he wants to see. It's what you want to see. What do you want to see? You know. Um, also, he gave us some great ideas for um, for the 100th video. Now, I believe, let me get my book here. Um, I believe the 100th video is going to be coming out at noon Sunday, this Sunday on the 15th. Um, it might be before then. If we have any mods that come out, that video is going to be bumped up Saturday. And we'll be, uh, we won't be replacing any videos, but we'll just be adding to it. So instead of having three videos on Saturday, we'll have four. Uh, also, every day now, every single day, I'll be releasing three videos. Video 12, video 1, video 4. Now, that's Eastern Time in the United States. So if you're somewhere else in the world, um, just uh, do a little time, you know, type in Google and type in, you know, uh, you know, noon or you know 12 p.m est east that's eastern time for the united states type in you know you know noon or 12 p.m eastern time or 1 p.m or 4 p.m whatever that time is that i'm releasing the video type that in and then what you can do is uh i'm just getting an idea here i think yep because this is straight across uh I believe I'm going to hire a worker when we go back up and make a second pass. Um, just type that in and find out what time that is, your time, so that you are able to catch the videos. I want to make sure everybody gets to watch all the videos. I, I put these out. I want to make sure that you get to watch them, that you enjoy them, that you know it's exciting, it's fun, something different. Um, every day, there's so much craziness and so much bad stuff going on in the world right now. Very slowly. There we go. Make sure we don't run over anything. Um, there's so much craziness and bad stuff going on in the world right now that we need to do some positivity. We need positivity big time. And what's positive is everybody being super cool. Be yourself. Don't don't follow what everybody else is doing. Don't don't look at the news and say, oh well, they're doing that. You know, if you agree with what they're doing, or if you don't agree with what they're doing, then then definitely you know push push through to that. But if they're just doing stupid stuff and you're like, wow, that's stupid, then you need to keep saying, wow, that's stupid. You have people around you and, and you know, don't be afraid to share your opinion. But remember, your opinion is your opinion. And I'm not here to tell you if you are right or wrong. Um, <sighs> Let's do corn talk for a second. <laughs> Let's go stand out in the middle of the cornfield and talk about this. Uh <laughs> So my opinion is my opinion, and I don't want my opinion to become your opinion unless you agree with what I'm talking about. And I'm not going to share what my opinion is. I think everybody's stupid. No, I'm kidding. I think you guys are cool. Um, I just think there's too much, too many uh, sheep and not enough shepherds, if you know what I'm talking about. So don't be afraid to become a shepherd. I guess that's all I'm saying. I don't know. I'm talking too much. <laughs> we need a tipper. I found a tractor. <laughs> we got one. I was looking at it through the window. We got our Optum. Yes. Love this tractor. Love it for carting. Guess what we're doing? We're carting corn with it. Yeah. Now, eventually, we're going to have to do a little speedy on this, unless this video is going to be like an hour and a half long. Uh, and... Unfortunately, I don't have an hour and a half to record today. <laughs> there we go. Uh, I have some other stuff I need to do today. We got new stuff coming in. Um, I I have to go to my, my job tonight. I have a gig. Um, tonight is trivia at, uh, at my job, so I'll be making all the trivia questions tonight. I'm trying to think what... Uh, what trivia I'm going to do? What questions I'm going to do? 
I don't know. I might do something. I want to do something fun. Do like, like uh, Star Wars or oh, don't go into corn. Um, ground response will do that. You'll lose control easy. Uh, I want to do something fun, something interesting, something different, something I haven't uh, haven't done before. I've done Star Wars. Pretty much done everything I can think of. Just to be completely honest with you, but I don't know. There's there's got to be something I haven't done. It's that's just like yo, that was cool. That's what I want. <laughs> Uh, maybe I don't know. We'll we'll, we'll, we'll see. Uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so I'm going to do a little bit of a speedy, a little bit of a jump cut. Um, we need to get this stuff done uh, because I want to get to some other things. But this is a ginormous field. This is going to take a little while. Uh, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. So I have decided that we need some help. This field is going to literally take forever. Get your phone out or your stopwatch if you carry a stopwatch. Go ahead and hit the button that says start. And we'll do it on three. Three, two, one, go. Now put it down and never pick it up again. That's how long it's gonna take. <laughs> So we're gonna go get some help. I got two two harvesters. Um, we're only doing corn. I'm gonna have to drive this one back down because we're <laughs> we got more fields to do down here. But the good thing is, like we could bring both harvesters back to uh, help at the other end of the field. So we're gonna get this one done. Like I said, it's gonna take forever. Um, not a lot of time has passed since uh, since I left you guys. However, it's been like ten minutes, <laughs> real time. Real time, real talk. So we get back. Hopefully, the little thing doesn't say 80% done before we get back. Uh, that would be sweet. Also, if you'll notice, in the top right-hand corner, we're still at $92,000. I have not uh, put the 620, 630 odd thousand back in that we should have right now. But I will be putting that back in soon, so be ready for that. Don't be uh, don't be alarmed. We do have much more money than this. We've we've got currently right over seven hundred thousand, supposedly. Um, this harvester is exactly the same, exactly the same uh, corn header, everything. Uh, nothing is different with this setup than with the last. The only thing that's different is we're well still moving pretty slow. <laughs> uh, it's not different, it's just more of the same. More of the same. We are going to get this guy out there and go ahead and set him on a worker. Um, should we do... Uh, I don't think we should do that. I think we need to get out here and we need to bump over to our other guy and go ahead and get the corn out of his um, out of his harvester and then hop back over here and get this guy working the way he should yep 
All right, let's do that. Nice and easy. Hey, and he's on the perfect side, too. He's got a little bit of work done since last time we were over here. Okay, maybe it's not going to be so bad. Either that or it took us forever to get here. <laughs> oh, is he going to hit that tree? I can see it now. Nope. Okay. He knows it's there. All right. We're going to be able to hold the rest of the grain in here. We may have to take this to the silo before we even come back. That may be a thing. I'll tell you what, this looks great. This, look at that. Boom. I see everything. There we go. That's just that's just a good looking sight right there. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We are full. Unfortunately. So let's head back. Oh, we're missing a couple little chunks here and there. It's okay. It's not his fault. It is, but, you know, the workers in FS17 are stupid if it's not a square. So, whatever. Let's get this taken up. Uh, we've got some corn in there, but I don't think it's much. You know, it's whatever you start the game with. Uh, bop, bop. There we go. Tab back into normal view. We'll see, whatever 45,000 is, plus whatever's left. Let's get into the right spot. There it is. Corn's going up. How are the prices looking for stuff? I mean, we're not... The, the plan is to not sell anything yet, or even this year, maybe. Um, there we go. So, like I said, I don't, I don't even think we're going to be selling anything this first year because everything that we have made, we require. We need this stuff for for harvest. We need this stuff. So, I need this stuff for harvest. Need it for animals, um, mainly pigs. Pigs require a lot of crazy stuff. So, uh, we do have a silo over at our pig farm. I don't know if you've seen that in our previous videos or not, but we do have a silo at our pig farm. Uh, it's one I put there. It's not a, it's not one that is there. Let's go and empty this guy out the rest of the way. So we'll be able to take over, you know, a couple loads of corn, uh, wheat or barley, you know, that kind of thing. Um, what I've done in previous maps is I've used barley for the pigs and I've sold the wheat. So that may be something else that we do this time around. Not 100% sure. Uh, we may do both. I so said we're just going to take over um, probably a double load of everything with those new... Well, we can't take over with the new tippers because they're only for uh, root crops and uh, silage and that kind of thing. So I guess we'll be taking over a 70,000 liter thing. So we'll start at 70,000 for the pigs and we'll just go from there. Um, it is autumn, so I believe that our... Do the pigs reproduce in autumn? Not sure. I have to double check that. Right, we're just about empty. And there it is. Turn that off. Let's jump back over to our other combine. We got a little bit of work to do.
So if you notice, oh goodness, no, 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 bump over, bump over, bump over, bump over, bump over, stop! My goodness, you're an idiot! What are you doing? Huh. Gosh. Alright, well now that my... Now that I've had at least one heart attack today... Get the corn. You have one job. Get the corn. And I got this guy blocked over here and let him out. Sorry, dude. There we go. Yeah, I said I wouldn't jump in till I had to, and of course I had to jump in. Jeez. <laughs> See, I do like this map, but man, these fields are humongous. It's a lot to do. We may not even get to silage today. And it is, this is the second episode of the week. We've got literally four, five more episodes to get through what's the equivalent of roughly three days of uh, in-game. I don't know if we can do it. I don't know if we can do it, but we're going to try to do it. Oh, man. <laughs> we got to get back, too, because I know those guys are ready to unload. Or at least one of them is. Uh, we had the one who had 100%. He's going to fill up quick because I only pulled... Yeah, he's, he's already back at 80% again. Let's go back in first person. Yep, I don't... Uh, I don't believe we're going to be getting silage done today, unfortunately. Um, if you were excited about silage, um, my sincerest apologies to you. Um, but don't worry, we'll do silage tomorrow. And we will do only silage and everything silage. And you can spell it and everything. What's up? <laughs> Okay. Helper N is nearly full. Is that both of them? Yeah, that's both of them. All right. Well, you know what? It's all right. It's okie dokie. We'll get there. Get where we need to be and turn the lights off. The other harvester, we're probably going to have to stop it and turn it around or else we will damage the crop. Um, like I said, funny enough, when you have a worker, they don't damage the crop. However, when you don't have a worker, and when it's just you, and you have crop destruction on, oh, you'll run all over it, unfortunately. But we'll say, with two harvesters, we're getting this done much faster than I expected. Uh, we are really pushing through, and that is super cool. Alright, so this should be done anytime. There it is. Very good, very good. Again, case optimum, great for carting. Just absolutely perfect. It, it you know, a little, little slowish, a little sluggish uh, going through some parts, but hey, it's got 313 horsepower and we're pulling 45 tons or 45,000 pounds. Okay. Is that correct? A liter weighs a, a liter weighs a pound or something like that? I don't know. All right, so let's fire this guy. Let's turn his beacons off. Shout out to Squad and his beacons. And is that over? It looks like it's over. Yep. Get this unloaded. Ooh. Tell you what, this video's taking it out of me, man. <laughs> it's kind of, you know, and it is harvest. Yes, it's harvest. We're doing the same thing over and over and over again. But I like corn harvest. Corn harvest is cool. And, and, yeah, it's a little slow, but, you know, the, the headers aren't as big as, as the other ones are, as, as they could have been. Um, yeah, well, I hope that n the uh, the new Fent that's coming out, the, the world record holder Fent or whatever, in FS19, I hope that they have the headers that come for the, with that thing, because that is just going to be epic. Yes. So we got that guy going. Very good. Cut this back on. We should be able to let the other harvester go down and back at least one more time. You know, while we're at it, 
we're gonna go catch him real fast. And then we're gonna catch this other harvester coming back and we might have a full load by then. Let's check it out and see. How much has he got? Not a lot, if I'm honest, doesn't look like. Let's see here. We are close to being done on this side. So that's cool. And uh, coming up next year, when we have corn harvest, we won't even have to, ooh, we're gonna, we're gonna run this corn over, that's all right. Uh, come next year, we won't even have to worry. Look at that timing. Look at that timing, how's about that? We'll follow this guy straight down, let him come back up, and then we will go unload while he's doing that. Yes, got it, perfect. Shouldn't have that much, to be honest with you. Let's see what he what he gives us here. Oh, getting a little too far out. A little too far. There we go. Uh, yeah, he didn't give us as much as I thought he would, but it's probably going to put us to 90% by the end of the row, maybe even a little bit more. And that's totally cool with me. I like that. So it is, what, 8, uh, 827, this beautiful, beautiful early autumn morning. Uh, I'm hoping that the trees turn, if that's, if that's something you haven't noticed yet. Some trees are dead, some trees are dying, some trees are autumny, some trees are very summery and springy. Um, and I don't know if that's because I started this map and then added seasons. Or if it's because of something else. I, I just don't know. Got me, homie, got me. Alright, I think that's good for now. And our other harvester should be coming back. He is. Throw it in first person, see if we can catch up to him. Um, it's the only thing about the Optum. You don't hit top speed very early. No one has completed their task yet. So I don't know what helper Q is doing, but he's fired. I hope he quit. He probably quit. Like I said, yeah, this is stupid. I ain't doing none of this no more. Look at he's already got out of day. Mm-mm. Turn it on, watch. Hire worker. Yep. Hoi, yo, yo, yo. Don't know who helper, uh, who that helper was, but this helper is doing a great job. Really fine, good work, good work. All right, 88%, this should put us to 100% should let's see if it does will it this will be our third uh, third load and you've been here for the whole thing 100% boom got it and we are gone bye first person here we go here we go I'll tell you what this tractor is nice on the inside nicer than some vehicles some cars <laughs> again as you probably see, I have the twin row crops on here. If I've got a case, man, I'm putting those twin row crops on there. The twin, uh, twin narrows. I love them. I absolutely love them. Okay. Do this. Let's jump back over to the field to see what else needs to be done. So I have taken over the harvesting job from Whoever was in this one, it was a good worker. She did a fantastic job. However, it's not a lot more to do, so we are going to take it over, at least for now. Where's our other combine? He's not turning around already, is he? Oh, he is. Uh, hopefully, he doesn't need a top off. We'll find out. So, like I said, I've taken over the jobs of this one. I'm gonna finish this field myself or at least i say this field uh, i'm gonna finish this side of the field myself let's see can, should we go all the way up i think we should probably make turning around a little easier yeah turn it on there we go hey corn harvest is half over but this video however <laughs> is close to being over uh that way we keep it under you know 
10 hours. <laughs> it's, it's, it, let's be honest, a lot of the videos I've been making lately are a little on the long side. A little on the long side, but maybe that's... Uh-oh, Helper B is nearly full grain tank. Well, we'll just have them, have them go till they're full. Where are they? Oh yeah, they're on their way down. Oh well. We'll figure it out. We'll get down there and we'll take over. But I think it's important that we get at least this side of the field done. There we go. Okay. Let's tip in. Okay, got that. Let's hop out. It's filling up. It's not going to be much, if we're honest. Why are the lights on? And there it is. Helper B. Helper B is a full grain tank. Of course they do. Why would they not? So I just got a notification uh, from Amazon. Oh, I keep hitting my microphone. Uh, from Amazon saying, Your packages are out for delivery, sir. <laughs> so our packages are out for delivery. Uh, unfortunately, I got to go get it because I have a P.O. box. I have a P.O. box I use for everything. And I don't use my normal address for anything. All my mail comes to my P.O. box. I like it that way. Let's do a little dumping here. Let's pour it in the back. There's nothing back here yet. There we go. Very good, very good. The worker has left exactly what I thought they would leave. And when they come back down, they're probably going to tell me that they're done. Even though I think we all know that they will not be done. We have to continually hire the worker every time... They come down to this end of the field just because it's a, you know, it's a, it'll be a little triangle and they won't know what's up. They won't know what they're doing. Okay. Then let's go and turn it on and get it lined up just so. Hire the worker and they will straighten it up. Very good. Take this. We're 89% now. I think, I think, I think, I think, sometimes I think. Let's see, what do we want to do? Because that's a lot going on. That harvester will be fine when we come back. Okay, we're gonna drive up, we're gonna get in this harvester here, and then we're going to literally drive around to all sides of the fields. And we're just going to double check. Double check everything. Make sure everything's kind of... Right, let's turn it off. Oh, I forgot brakes don't work when it's rolling. There we go. We're on. <clears throat> Cruise control is set just so. Let's straighten up. Oh, yeah. Easy. First person. You know it. See, when you're doing these smaller itty bitty pieces, first person's great because you can kind of almost see when you're coming up on it. The only thing I will say is that I don't like in first person is the depth perception. And, and I know the two things that I just said contradict each other. I understand that. But there's got to be a way that we can get depth perception in a video game like this. I mean, Grand Theft Auto have zero troubles. Uh, in Forza, I have zero troubles. For some reason, Farm Simulator, I always have a trouble uh, figuring out what is where in, in my depth perception. It's just way off. All right, uh, oh, is there a little spot over here? I see, no, okay. So that is it for this side of the field. Cruising along, around 16 miles an hour. Not too shabby. Oh yeah.
here's the question. Do we... Huh. I was going to say, do we go over and just start doing the other side of the field ourselves over there? And so we just kind of go behind the worker. Now, the worker's probably going to say that he's completed their task. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. No, but he will get stuck on that hill. Watch this. <laughs> Is he seriously doing? No, it's going to say now that he's completed his task. I am bumfuzzled. This is not something I'm used to seeing. Holy cow. How's about that? Nearly full grain tank, whatever. That was cool. <laughs> Do a little bit of uh, rural off-roading, which is normal. Uh, something I like to do is urban off-roading. It's where you find things in the city and try and off-road on them and then get in a lot of trouble. Don't do that, ever. Don't do that. But it's it's called urban off-roading. <laughs> uh, uh, funny enough, when I was a kid, when, you know, when you're like second, third grade, when you're learning the difference between urban and rural and everything, uh, that is how I remembered it. I was, I was like, you know, it's... Urban off-roading, rural off-roading. Rural off-roading is what you do. Urban off-roading is the fun kind. And urban off-roading, you know, it's stuck in my head. So, regardless. Helper K has a full grain tank. I'm sure they do. Uh, as much as I would love to go and help them with that, we've still got one combine going. So, I'm, uh, I'm just going to kind of keep going with this until I get close to the other tractor. Yeah. Yeah, we're just going to do that. Okay. We're just about to the end of this. Uh, just about to the end of this field here. Right here. Yes. Okay. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's, let's go take care of Helper K. Because uh, they've done such a good job for us. I did not realize that our tipper is almost full. 89%. So... Instead of helping Helper K and unloading them first, uh, we're going to help ourselves and unload this first because we has to do that. I know that I haven't done a lot of speedies in this video, um, but I've been getting requests to not do as many speedies and to just sit and chat with you guys. So, easy, nice. I can do that. I love you dudes. I like talking to y'all. Y'all are fun. Um... I hope you've enjoyed the uh, the first two videos I did today. One was uh, Oregon, or not Oregon. Uh, one was the what the weekly this week the this week video, uh, and in it I was doing a little bit of a tour of Sunshine Valley. It's going to be the next map. The next map is going to be heavy on animals. Basically, um, all it is going to be is taking care of the animals. So, be, uh, be expecting that. Be ready for that. Okay, let's get this. So, it's not going to be as much farming as it is, like I said, taking care of the animals and that kind of thing. So, I want to find a map that has a, you know, really nice animal pens. Will this go in? Yes, it will. Uh, so I want to find a map that's got really nice animal pins. Keep hitting my microphone. Uh, larger pins to where it actually makes sense if we have these hundreds of animals. Um, what was it that we had coming out of Oregon's or coming out of the other one? It's like 600 and some uh, pigs. I mean, it's incredible. Um, fun fact: the fact finding Friday. Next week, not this week, this week is wheels and crop destruction. The week after is going to be animals. So everything you need to know about 
taking care of your animals, how many animals can you have, yada yada yada. There's a couple of those questions I don't even know. Like, how many animals can you have? I don't know. I don't know how many animals you can have. Um, also, I kind of set a worker up here, going back and forth, like, side to side. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. I know he's got 80%. I hope he doesn't fill up by the end of this row. I hope he turns around. Ah, dang it. All right. That's okay. Turn that off. Fire the worker. Bring that back in. Turn off the beacon. Oh, I'm moving my tractor. That would have just been a couple thousand dollars worth of damage right there. That's what that would have been. Is it going to start tipping? There we go. Okay. There we are. Yes, yes, yes. So we are almost done with corn harvest. And as soon as this... Uh, as soon as this is done, then we will be done. How many clips do we have? We're in our ninth clip right now of this video. Uh, I was talking to one of my buddies uh, yesterday, and he was like, dude, all your, all your videos look like they're just, you know, one take. Well, all my videos are multiple takes. Like I was saying uh, about a week ago, um, for some reason my computer does not like when I have more than 10 minute clips or else I would just do one entire one entire thing and edit down from there uh, unfortunately that is not a possibility so can't do that let's see what can we do <laughs> let's go here let's set this on a worker going straight down and then I'm gonna run down and get that harvester and start going up the sides we should not have to unload either one of the harvesters for the rest of the field yes we're gonna do some cleanup work um, I shouldn't have to do anything and this honestly may be the last uh, last clip of the video and then we'll go down and give you guys a sneak peek of silos harvest all right unfortunately I can run faster than six miles an hour which is hilarious because in real life, I can run about one mile an hour. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's that's way, way short. Oh, man. All right. Hopping in. Boom. Got it. Turn it on and turn it around. Now, are we going to be able to jump in before that harvester gets back? No, we're not. But we will be able to take over where he left off. And that is a good thing. So he's going to say, yeah, I'm, I'm done. And that's all right. Yep, there he goes. I'm done. Hired the worker. Good job. Jump back in. Tell you what, one uh, one person rocking and rolling, baby. I tell you what. All right, let's clean up a little bit. We got a little bit to clean up just up here. Not as much, honestly, as I was uh, worried we were going to have to do. Just to be completely honest with you. Let's see. This right here concerns me a bit because this is a huge chunk to miss. But I imagine it's because there was a couple trees on the side here. Helper F is blocked by an object. Well, Helper F needs to figure out how to get around said object because Helper F is stupid. There we go. Got that, got that. Good, 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 good. Hey, we're almost done. Only took us uh, 40 minutes to an hour to do one video. <laughs> Kidding. No, I've been recording for about an hour and a half now. That's bad. No, it's not. It's fun. It's a lot of fun. I enjoy doing this. Okay. That is everything over here done. And that is not everything over there done. However, we will complete everything over there with this combine. And then we'll be set done. Rolling, rolling, rolling. My alter ego singing. <laughs> All right. 
Not much more to do. Two passes. I think it's all. Yeah, looks like it. Oh, no. <laughs> One piece. No. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, that's fine. Um, yes. My goodness. No, I wanted you to turn off, not kick me out of it. Uh, one thing, like I said, we are going to be doing um, in the winter, and it's something that I want to do in the winter, is I want to get the trees away from the fields. I understand it's pretty and it's nice and, and everything. One piece of corn. You know what? We're going to leave it. He survived. Um... We're, we need to get all these trees away from, from the field. It's it's just not... You know, I grew up on a farm, and we did not have trees around our fields. We had plenty of room to turn around, go back and forth, whatever, whatever, whatever. We had plenty of room, plenty of room. All right. Let that unload. Hop in here. And we can fold everybody up. Here we go. Hey. We're done. We're done, baby. It's all over. It's over. Oh, man. <laughs> Should we cut through the woods here? Yeah. Speaking of woods, all these trees will be gone next season. Yes. roll out I think I have a special place for both of these harvesters um, mainly because well we put them in but here we go Ooh, swinging a little little crazy crazy now are these that door as big as these side doors I don't believe it is but I know I can fit through that one over there but it does not look like that I can fit through that there. But I know this fits in here just fine. Interesting. Oh well. Guess I should put the uh, header away, but that's all right. Let's shut that door while we're in here. And then I don't know who left this door open. But that needs to be shut as well. Also, what is going on with all these doors being open? Uh, see, that's the, that's the big case. That's where... The Optimus is supposed to go. Oh, I forgot we got to run all the way back. Um, I think instead we're going to snap back. One, two, ready to go. Told you we were going to snap back. Oh, yeah. All right. So we got that done. We got that done. Da, 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 da. Uh, I was talking about the videos a minute ago that, uh, that were coming out today, or that did come out today. This will be the last video that comes out today. Um... We had the Oregon Springs map tour. So if you haven't checked that out, check that out. Um, it will give you an idea of this map and what is where and how is how and what is what. Uh, I'll make sure I jump into the, the Oregon Springs playlist and bump that straight to the top so that you guys get to take a look at it. All right. I guess we're pulling in straight. Let's open this up. There we go. If you remember, we did move our sugar beet harvester down to the other farm. And there we go, we're in. We do need to go back and get this guy, but we can run and do that. Um, so starting today, and granted we've done it every day for about a week and a half now, but starting today, you can know that every day at 12, 1, and 4, there will be a video. Every day, seven days a week. Oh, yes. 12, 1, and 4. So you know, I keep hitting the microphone, dang Um, So you'll know, hey, there's going to be a video today. DJ said so. He said, hey, there's going to be a video today. We know this. <laughs> you don't even have to worry about me telling you about them anymore. You just know DJ's got a video out. How do you know? It was one o'clock. Cool. 
every day. 12, 1, and 4. Now that is my time. Oh, goodness. Yeah, there's some collision right here. I don't know what it is, but can we get that fixed for any updates that are coming up, please? Thank you. Um, that's 12, 1, and 4 Eastern Time in the United States. EST. 12 p.m., 1 p.m., and 4 p.m. Now, if mod video or if mods come out, new mods, say today's Monday, tomorrow's Tuesday. If new mods come out tomorrow, then you can expect sometime between two o'clock or sometime between one o'clock and four o'clock that that mod video will come out. There's a chance that I went the wrong way. Um, how much corn do we have now? I want to check that out. Uh, there's a chance that the video could come out a little later. Uh, but I'm going to try and get all mod, all new mod videos out by about 2 o'clock. Okay, where's corn? We got 218,922. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Alright. Let's park our tipper away. Let's put our tractor away. And we'll be all done. That's the video. Again, 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, and 4 o'clock. You can expect every day at 4 o'clock, Oregon Springs. Every day, no matter what it is, at least I think so. Yep, even Oregon Extras gonna be coming out four o'clock on Saturday. Why did I turn this off? Again, say it with me: twelve o'clock, one o'clock, four o'clock. Say it one more time: twelve o'clock, one o'clock, four o'clock. <laughs> Boom. So. Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays, obviously, we do Product Spotlight. Those will be the videos that come out at 12 o'clock and 1 o'clock. Um, Wednesdays, we have Hump Day Hill Climb. So that is good. Oh, let me get out of the way so we don't get run over by the door. Um, the only one that's going to change is Wednesday at 1. That video will be different each week. Uh, I was going to do live stream highlights, but for some reason, my live stream didn't save this week, so it's on YouTube. <laughs> I keep hitting the microphone. I need different headphones. I need to put earbuds, earbuds in or something, because I just keep hitting this darn microphone. Okay, so that's going to do it for us here at Oakfield Farm. Oakfield Farm, goodness gracious, what am I doing? Oregon Springs! Oregon Springs, episode number 14. Hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you later. Peace.